A ball is tossed into the air at a rate of 110 feet per second. A model describing the height of the ball after t seconds would be h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 110 t. Determine the velocity of the ball after four seconds, then determine when the ball will hit the ground. To determine the velocity of the ball after four seconds, we'll have to determine the velocity function, which is equal to the derivative of the height function. And then to determine when the ball will hit the ground, we will set h of t equal to zero and solve for t. We need to begin by determining the velocity function, v of t, which is equal to the derivative of h of t, and we are told to use the limit definition of the derivative shown below, and therefore h prime of t is equal to the limit of the difference quotient, which in our case is going to be h of the quantity t plus h minus h of t, all divided by h as h approaches zero which is equal to the limit of, to find h of the quantity t plus h, we replace t with t plus h, which gives us negative 16 times the square of t plus h plus 110 times the quantity t plus h. And then we have minus h of t, which is minus the quantity negative 16 t squared plus 110 t. It is important that we have negative 16 t squared plus 110 t in parentheses so that we're subtracting the entire function. All this is divided by h as h approaches zero. And now we need to expand and simplify the numerator. We have negative 16 times the square of the quantity t plus h. The square of the quantity t plus h is equal to t squared plus two h t plus h squared. You may want to check this. Next, we distribute 110, which gives us plus 110t, and then plus 110h, and then minus negative 16t squared, simplifies to plus 16t squared, and then we have minus 110t. All this is divided by h. Next, we clear this last set of parentheses, and then combine like terms in the numerator. Distributing negative 16, we have negative 16t squared minus 32ht minus 16h squared. Everything else remains the same for now. And now combining like terms in the numerator, we have negative 16t squared plus 16t squared, that's zero. And we also have 110t minus 110t, which is zero. Notice the remaining three terms in the numerator all have a common factor of h. So now we'll factor h from the numerator, which will then simplify with the denominator. Factoring h from the numerator, we have h times the quantity negative 32t minus 16h plus 110, all divided by h. So again here, notice how we can simplify the h's now. h divided by h simplifies to one leaving us with just the limit of negative 32t minus 16h plus 110 as h approaches zero. As h approaches zero, 16h approaches zero, giving us a limit of negative 32t plus 110. So now we know the velocity function v of t is equal to negative 32t plus 110 we can now determine the velocity at any time. We're asked to find the velocity after four seconds, and therefore we need to find v of four. Well, v of four is equal to negative 32 times four plus 110, which is equal to negative 128 plus 110, which is equal to negative 18. The velocity is negative because the ball is moving downward, and the units here are going to be feet per second. Let's go ahead and write this out. The velocity after four seconds is negative 18 feet per second. And now to answer the second question as to when the ball will hit the ground, the ball hits the ground when the height is zero, and therefore we set h of t equal to zero and solve for t. This gives us the equation zero equals negative 16 t squared plus 110t. Let's go ahead and solve by factoring. 
The greatest common factor on the right is 2t, which gives us 2t times the quantity negative 8t plus 55. The product on the right is equal to 0 when 2t is equal to 0, or when negative 8t plus 55 is equal to 0. 2t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0. This is not the time we want. This tells us the ball starts on the ground at time 0. Solving the second equation for t, we subtract 55 on both sides, divide by negative 8, and we get t is equal to 55 eighths, which is equal to 6.875, and the units here are seconds. So now we know the ball will hit the ground after 6.875 seconds. Before we go, let's take a look at a graph. The red parabola is h of t, the height function. We can see the point on the graph where t is equal to four seconds. We can see the height at four seconds is 184 feet. The slope of this green tangent line gives us the velocity at four seconds. The slope of this green line is negative 18, which represents the velocity of negative 18 feet per second. And then the x-intercept or horizontal intercept on the right of 6.875 comma zero represents the ball hitting the ground, which again we can see happens after 6.875 seconds. I hope you found this helpful.